Today's a very exciting day for all of us. Uh, I would like to ask all of our city staff if they would come up, up here by the podium, please. So again, I just want to welcome everyone here to City Hall. Uh, uh, it's, a, it's a very exciting day for all of us here in the city of Dunkirk as we welcome uh, Ambassador Hughes S Sannon here to the city of Dunkirk. Uh, Hughes is here to present an award. I am quite honored, to say the least, uh, to be recognized by such an organization. And I want to thank all of you for being here to uh, help me welcome him here to the city of Dunkirk. So ladies and gentlemen, at this time, it is my privilege to welcome to the podium, and please join me in welcoming up to the podium here, Ambassador Hughes Sannon. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, everyone. It is great to be in this beautiful city of Dunkirk. My name is Yusanen. Uh, I am uh, a Global Peace Ambassador, a humanitarian and a human rights advocate. For over 20 years, I've traveled to many countries in the world ensuring that world leaders come to the table of peace. As a human rights advocate, I have stood up to violation of human rights, violation to religious freedom, human trafficking, and you name it. For over 20 years, I have helped uh, sheltered homeless, fed the hunger and care for the sick. At uh, the United Nations, I have made more than 20 speech urging people to come to the table of peace and reconciliation. As of now, I am uh, the special envoy in charge of international relations to United Nations for the Council for Justice, Equality, and Peace. I am also the vice president for the Global Organization for Sustainable Development accredited at the United Nations, President of Le Journal IT, and Global Ambassador for the Foundation for a Job for All. We are in more than 126 countries. Uh, after COVID-19 or during COVID-19, we did not have to uh, go to the meeting at the UN and then uh, many people, many diplomats, uh, were looking for a peaceful place to live. And I decided to move to Shitokua County, and now I love it. 
And in my mission to greet and meet influential leaders, mayors, governors, police chief, and the community leaders, I've decided to visit many cities, many town. And that's why today I am in this great, beautiful city of Dunkirk to meet and greet with uh, Mayor Wilfred Wozas. Before I get to the city hall, I took some time to drive around and I see, oh my God, how beautiful this little city is. You guys have beautiful houses, beautiful school, beautiful world, and I see there's so many great things going on in this city. Before I visit uh, the city of Dunkirk and greet and meet with uh, Mayor Wosas, my staff and myself did some research about this city and the work that Mayor really wants us has been doing since he took office. And we realized that Mayor Wosas is an outstanding leader who have worked tremendously to empower the city of Dunkirk. Please put your hand together for Mayor Wonsas uh, Weedy. He's a great leader. I've seen him two times in Jamestown, one at Mayor of the uh, AZ fundraiser, and also last week uh, uh, with a fundraiser uh, with uh, Governor uh, Kati Oko. And then I see them from far, we chat a little bit, but I can see, because I've met with many powerful world leaders, I can see his determination. I can see his love. I can see his leadership. I can see his great heart to, to continue to empower the city of Dunkirk. After two terms, probably, Mayor Wonsas may want to pass the torch of leadership to someone else. However, I believe his heart, his soul, will always stay for the community, for the people in the city of Dunkirk. He has done great job. I remember reading Mayor once has developed a great friendship and relationship with Governor Cuomo because he's an outstanding leader. He urged Governor Cuomo to put more than $200 million so we can have about 900 jobs in the city of Dunkirk. So if many people have a job right now, is because of this great man. Please, once again, put your hand together for the mayor. Every city, every state, every country in the world has their own challenges in peace and security, climate change, migration. Some people are forced to leave the country because of war because uh, of violation to human rights, because uh, they're looking for a green pasture, because uh, they're looking for more opportunity. And uh, when uh, many migrate, whether they legal or illegal, come to the city of Dunkirk, this may look very challenging to Mayor Wosas, but he act accordingly to resolve the immigration issues. He act accordingly to ensure he handled the education issues. He act accordingly to ensure the people of Dunkirk has equal opportunity. 
and we at the Council for Justice, Equality and Peace, we are looking for strong leader like Mayor wants us really to empower them so in turn they can continue to empower the city, the state and the world. That's why today I am here not only to visit this great city but to empower our dearly mayor wants us uh, with one of the strongest award uh, from the Council for Justice, Equality and Peace, which is uh, the Global Distinguished Leadership Award. And today, this award is going to be bestowed to our great mayor, Mayor Wonsas. Uh, really, please, one second, put your hand together as Mayor Wonsas is approaching. This is the Global Distinguished Leadership Award for the Council for Justice, Equality and Peace International. This award is only bestowed to those who have impacted the world, the state and the city through humanitarian, diplomatic and political work. We understand for many years Mayor Wonsas, who have been in law enforcement, a retired New York State trooper, one uh, who have worked with uh, Clinton, with uh, uh, the new mayor, the new governor, um, uh, Governor Cuomo, and has done tremendous work in this great city. We agreed and accepted that he is qualified to be bestowed this international Distinguished Leadership Award. As we presenting this award to our mayor, our friend, Mayor Wonsas, please, you is a constituent, please put your hand together for him. Also, we would like also to present on our a medal of honor. This award is also bestowed to those who have impacted the world, the state, and the community. And we believe that uh, Mayor Willie wants us have impacted the city of Dunkirk and beyond. That's why today we are humbly and honored to give him the Medal of Honor for his outstanding job empowering the people of this great city of Dunkirk. Once again, put your hand together for the mayor. I, am, I stand before you as a very humbled person right now, and uh, I just want to say thank you again to the ambassador, uh, and I want to thank all of you for being here. There are a lot of good things that are happening in the city today, uh, and I, I believe that the city's future, uh, we have laid a foundation where it, the future of the city is bright, and it's not going to matter who gets voted in. The foundation that we have built is strong enough to sustain whomever comes in. But I urge everyone to remember that we have an election coming up and we need to make sure we have good, strong leadership that can follow through with the vision and the progress that we've made in the past eight years. I want to thank all of you again for being here with me to receive this award. And this is not just for
for Mayor Rosas. This is for our community here in the city of Dunkirk. That's what this is about, to be recognized by the ambassador here in the city is something that all of us should be proud of. So thank you once again for coming out.